what's going on guys it's Zerky and we're back with the, another video today we have a, another custom tactic one and we've gone with a formation that is not always used by everyone but i think it's a very solid formation and it's the three one four two so this is how i have it so i actually have a basic and basic um on defense and offense um mainly because you don't want to get outdone at the back in all honesty there then the width i have on six and the depth i have on six with this one i don't want my three center backs to get too high up the pitch i suggest having either five or six really uh, either one of those uh, whatever one you feel like works best probably five to stop the ball from in behind uh, as much uh, but also depends who you have at center back if you've got two center backs and a uh, like a right or a left back then you probably want to go with five if you have like some quicker center backs then you'll just leave it at six. And then we have five whip on offense. And then this one's completely down to you how many players you want to get into the box. But I like to stick around this. And then corners and free kicks. Obviously, we don't need to get too many people in the box for those. So then the custom tactics here. So Cristiano Ronaldo, um, obviously one of the strikers in the team, both the strikers. So we have stay center. Um, and then mix on Son, the stay forward, and then stay forward and get in behind on Cristiano Ronaldo. Our two centre mid. So the, on this formation, what you need to remember is the top two on the outside of the centre mid, and then the other two behind are the wingers. Uh, it can get a little bit confusing. Don't know why it is that, but for some reason that's what it is. So we have cover centre on both of those, and that's how I leave it. I just leave it on cover centre. I want them both to get forward, but also come back um, as well. So I kind of just leave them how they are. Obviously, joining the attack with those. What I'd probably do is maybe if you're playing a more like you have more of a cam in there, um, like Kevin De Bruyne, you could put him on attacking so he gets in behind. Um, but do remember that you're going to have two wingers going forward as well, so you probably want to keep them on balance. Otherwise, it might get a little bit crowded. And then Sterling, we just have him getting behind, and Ribery get on behind. That's what we changed there. Larms are DM, um, and he is stay back while attacking and cover centre. Then we have Walker, Boateng, Cancelo at the back. So mine are all pretty quick, so that's why I've gone with the uh, higher depth there. Then just Yashin on normal. So guys, that is what I've gone with this, with this formation. Um, I feel like it works very well. Um, overall, very, very solid formation on this on this game the, the three backs not too bad uh, sometimes you can get done with one massive through ball um, but that's more more luck really but when you're pushing you've got a lot of people around the ball pushing up so 3142 is a solid formation if you guys like this hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already uh, if you haven't seen the last video make sure you go check out it's absolutely amazing we've got team of the year Ronaldo first owner we got it from the 83 plus packs so yeah, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out.